Hi everyone, in today's video we'll be checking out some miscellaneous lingerie bags in my collection, plus one of my custom bags. Let's begin. First up, we have a Rugrats bag. I absolutely love this bag. I paired it with a Tommy Pickles keychain, and as much as I love this keychain, I have to complain because I used to have two, but Reptar fell off the first day I had it, which was such a bummer. As far as the backpack goes though, it's completely my childhood on a bag. I remember hearing this theme song whenever, wherever, and running to the TV just to watch the show. For the inside lining, we have the iconic bright green background with the purple squiggles, and because this bag is so amazing, I had to get the matching wallet. Is it matching? Sort of. The thing that drives me nuts is Loungefly chose a bright green plate and a green zipper color compared to the bag's orange plate and black zippers. I know it's being picky, but if I'm getting a matching wallet, I really want it to match the bag. Is that too much to ask? As far as the wallet itself goes, I do wish that there was an inside zipper, but complaining aside, I promise I still really like this wallet. Now this next bag on the other hand, no complaints whatsoever, this bag is beautiful. You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? From Haiti's sparkly flames to the scene where Hercules is fighting Hydra, it's perfection. I paired this bag with a Hercules and Pegasus keychain, so stinking cute. The bag's back is just a solid black, but we have some blue flames on the straps, which is a nice touch. I actually think having the sides of the bag and the back of the bag just plain black was a smart decision since it keeps our main focus on the front design. Let's take a peek at the inside lining. We have some blue flame action, and I just realized I forgot to show off the front zipper pull, so I'm going to insert a picture of it here. And with that, let's check out this bag's matching wallet. I love this wallet for so many reasons, the first reason being the sparkles, we got this amazing action scene, our main man Hades, and then checking out the other side of the wallet we have the fades and pain and panic, which personally I think they deserve a bag of their own, just saying. And if you know me, you know I love the larger wallets, especially when they have that inside zipper. 10 out of 10, I wouldn't change anything about this wallet. Let's move on to Alice in Wonderland. How do you do a shake hand, shake hand, shake hand? How do you do a shake hand? State your name a bit. This is a re-release of an older bag and I actually like this version more because the scenes fit better in the panels where no heads are cut off. And I feel like Loungefly did a fantastic job overall. I love that the little oysters are on this bag and these teacup keychains you see are from the character warehouse. Literally any which way you turn this backpack, there's something to see and the colors are just amazing. On the back we have the Queen of Hearts with the White Rabbit and the King. I will mention that I did get this re-release from an overseas seller. It was originally sold I think at Box Lounge probably like 4 years ago. It's referred to as the Mary Blair Alice in Wonderland bag for anyone who's interested. The inside lining is black and white striped and now let's look at another Alice in Wonderland bag. Okay, so this isn't Loungefly but Kate Spade. Normally I don't collect this brand but I had to have this bag because of the details alone. Check out the sprinkles on the cookie or the icing on the other one. It makes you want to grab it right off the bag. I love that Alice's dress sparkles and I paired this crossbody with a fun Cheshire Cat bag charm from the Disney store. On the other side we have the white rabbit and he's got a sparkling little heart on his uniform and on the inside of the bag it's just plain black. That bit of pink you see is a wallet which we'll look at now. So this is the wallet that we saw inside the previous bag. On this side we have Alice with a rose, the zipper pull is this adorable bread and butterfly, and checking out the other side we just have the flowers with the rocking horse fly. On the inside of the wallet we see that soft lounge fly label, and even though this is a smaller wallet, it still has an inside zipper, which I always appreciate. Now let's switch gears to Paranorman. I love that we have the main characters on the front pocket, and because this bag is from Hot Topic, we do have that soft lounge white label. I think the bright green and the black was a smart choice for this bag. It works really well. I believe this was the only Paranorman bag that Loungefly's ever made, which is why I ended up customizing a Paranorman bag for myself. I'll leave the link to that customizing video in the description below. Speaking of customizing, let's check out my custom Emperor's New Groove bag. And here it is. I'm such a fan of this fabric. We have Yzma in her human form and cat form. There's also Cusco in his human form and llama form. I love that the squirrel's on here as well as the llama potion. And of course, I had to make sure this fabric had Kronk on it. On this side, you can see my two keychains of Kronk and Yzma. They were originally play figures from the Disney store that I removed their bases and turned them into keychains. Any guesses on what this bag was before I customized it? It was originally 101 Dalmatians. I was able to get this bag for half off during box launch money, and I felt like this sand color was a perfect fit for an Emperor's New Groove bag. 
so of course I had to make a matching wallet. As with all my custom wallets, this isn't Loungelight brand, but rather it's from Rue21. These are my go-to for customs because they really are just great quality and they have an inside zipper. Now let's look at the collection all together. So here's part one of my miscellaneous collection. A hint for the custom that we'll see in part two is Silencio Bruno. <laughs> That's my best take. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. Feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.